so I am so glad to have you. I'm so glad to have you today on Life Pro. And this is just an impromptu video. You know, uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> Uh, Sim Chesa, uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I just thought, and I was thinking about today's content, and what are we going to do for today? But an idea just popped into my mind. Uh, an idea just popped into my mind that what we can do today, I can share with you guys how I get to rehearse for a spoken word piece. What happens before I get to go perform somewhere as spoken word and yes and so first of all it takes me around the process of writing a spoken word itself first of all before i write a spoken word i do go through a spoken word and so before i come up with a whole piece first of all let's say i'm writing about about love about the love of god about hope about faith let's take a topic like faith before i write about faith this is what i do i take the the word faith itself. I get to understand faith first of all, then I take time to pray about it. I just pray and I tell God every day, God, uh, today I want to write about faith. And so, God, what do you have for me concerning faith? And so, in short, what I'm saying is that as I do my spoken word, I take time, for example, I, I take time, for example, if I'm supposed to write about faith, what I do, I take the topic faith, I go before God and I tell God, today, God, I'm writing about faith today and I'd like you to speak to me, whatever it is that you want me to speak to people, speak that to me so that I may speak to them what you, are, what you want them to hear. You know, so I pray about it, sometimes I also take time, pray fast about it and then I then go to my dad. My dad is actually a pastor, a missionary for that matter. He goes for different missions to Samur and everywhere. Yes, and so my dad is a missionary. And so I go to that, my dad and I ask him, my brother, dad, I'm ready to speak a about faith. And so according to you, what do you have concerning faith? What, what, can, what can you say about faith according to you? And so my dad, being a pastor, he gives me his perspective. And then once he has given me his perspective, now I'm able to write now from that perspective. I, 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 and so now I get his perspective. I bring it. I write it down actually on a book. Then I, after I've written down what my dad has given me, his perspective about faith, I then still in prayer, I... I keep on praying about it and then now i come to the bible and i read the bible now for myself the verses in the bible which talk about faith um between romans wherever it is where it talks about faith i read those texts the, i read that text and then as i'm reading because i had prayed god now speaks to me through that text and that's how i'm able to write a whole piece about Faith. I write the whole piece combining what my dad told me, what I know about faith, what I've gotten from the Bible about faith, and that's how I come up with the whole spoken word piece. Then for the punchlines, that's how I come up with the whole spoken word piece. Then after writing, now it's the process of memorizing. Before I memorize, I go to my dad and I memorize the spoken word. I, I memorize the spoken word to him so that he can tell me if it's biblically correct because you know what sometimes you can be so overwhelmed by the punchlines until you write something that's not according to the bible so i go to him and so he tells me yeah but then this one the bible doesn't say this this is contradicting the bible this is what you're supposed to say and so he corrects me on that point and that's how i'm able to come up with the whole spoken word piece then the memorizing process i take time like it takes me uh, a three minutes spoken word takes me around 30 minutes to memorize. Yeah, just memorize it. Yeah. Within 30 minutes, within 30 minutes I'm able to memorize a three minutes spoken word. Yeah. So that's like one minute for every uh, for, for one minute. Yeah, that's like for one minute it, it takes me ten minutes to memorize a one minute spoken word. Yeah, maybe we can say that. Within three minutes I've memorized within that minutes I've already memorized a three minutes spoken word perfection yes and so now what's remaining is just the the flow having that flow and the confidence and so now for the confidence part now this is a funny part this is what i do i remember i initially used to be somehow afraid before going to perform you know that that anxiety and so what i'll do is this i'll take out the phone just walking down just just 
I'll take out my phone, just go to town, and then going to town, I'll just place my phone on my ear. Yes, and so, and so I remember what I used to do, I'll just take out my phone, then I'll go to town, and I have my phone on my ear, and I go speaking that spoken word in town, in, like in the CBD. I just go saying that spoken word. Oh, so to qualify it's impossible, doesn't mean we qualify it to the same way, all that. That's how I get memorized. That's how I go, like, I go speaking the spoken word in the CBD with my phone on my ear. And so that tactic, using that tactic, you know, even if people are looking at me, people will just look at me and they'll be like, ah, that guy is on a phone. No one will know that I'm memorizing the spoken word. And for me, that one, and for me at that time, I'm actually building my confidence because people are looking at me. I'm seeing people in front of me and I'm not afraid of speaking it because my phone is on the ear. And so if you come to me asking me what I'll be... Yeah, yet I'm memorizing the spoken word. So that's how I memorize the spoken word and that's how I got to build my confidence. And also the more you... And also before you go perform somewhere, it's very advisable. Actually, it's very good for you to take time to... Even if you've already memorized the, the spoken word, just get to do it again and again and again so that you can build your confidence, so that you can build your flow, your intonation, where the, the places where the spoken word is supposed to go up, you go up, you're supposed to be sorrowful, you're sorrowful, you're sorrowful. Well, it's happy, you're happy. Yeah, that's how I do spoken word. That's how I, that, that's the writing process and my memorizing process, my performance. Now performing, I pray. I pray before performing somewhere so that I pray and I tell God, God is I perform in this place. Let me not be seen but you to be glorified. I'm not doing this for the people to see me, for the people to snap. No, actually, as I do spoken out, my mind is not even in the snapping or anything. My mind is in God speaking through me. I'm just a vessel that God is speaking through. Yes. That's my process. That's how I do it. And I've done it how many years now? Since 2015. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. 2019, five years now. By the way, we are five years in spoken word. <laughs> yes, five years now since we started spoken word. And you are still pushing. Yes, and so thank you so much for watching this video. I believe you've learned a thing or two. And if you have other tips that you normally use, maybe you're a spoken word is told. So other tips that you normally use to write your script, to write your piece, to memorize, to build your courage, other ways that you normally use, share in the comment section. Tell us how you do that so that we can build each other. We can sharpen each other. We can sharpen each other. As they say, iron sharpens iron. So let's sharpen each other. Let's grow together. Thank you. Remember to subscribe down below. Subscribe to Life Probe. Yes, but the, the t-shirts and the hose, they're coming. We have one t-shirt. We have a t-shirt actually. We have t-shirts. T-shirts are already out. If you need a Life Probe t-shirt, just talk to us. A hood, talk to us. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, um, I need to go memorize a spoken word for this time and time, time this Saturday. And so, oh. So, for the price of the cost of the price of the